Hey guys, Craig McCormick here from DestructivePixels.com and today I want to talk to you about the five reasons why I love using my Wacom tablet. So the first reason and why many people start looking at these tablets to begin with is the entire pen aspect of it. Now you actually use the pen in replace of something like your mouse or even your trackpad. And this black area here on the track, on the uh, Wacom tablet, sorry, actually uh, acts as a replication area of your screen. So I've got a couple of little white and um, corner brackets here on the tablet. And if I was to put my pen up in here, in this little corner here, the cursor would actually move to that corner. And again, if I was to move to that corner, the cursor would move across to that corner. This actually acts as your screen replication. So when you're drawing, now what does that do? It gives you a lot better, finer detail and accuracy when you're drawing. It's almost like you're actually drawing using your screen. And one of the very cool aspects of uh, using a tablet and this tablet in particular, the Intuos range, is the pressure sensitivity. Now this guy is really pressure sensitive and what that helps you do basically is think about it like when you're drawing with a pencil on a piece of paper. You can draw really light and that'd be very faint lines and then the harder you press the darker you get and the harder and the thicker the line is. Um, I'll show you on screen here in Photoshop. If I draw very lightly with my pen you can see it's very faint and then the harder I press the darker you get. Now this is great for retouching. Uh, I really don't go anywhere without this. Uh, if I am out on a shoot, uh, say I'm traveling and I haven't got my tablet with me, I will wait to come back to my apartment to retouch the images. That is how important this tablet is and that aspect of the pressure sensitivity. It makes retouching images super easy. If you're a portrait photographer, this is an absolute necessity for your job because this is easily the best way to retouch images and the entire pen bit is the single best feature that I can think of. It really does just act like you're drawing on your screen and that is super, super helpful. The second reason I love using this tablet in particular, because the last few Intuos uh, tablets that Wacom have come out with have been wirelessly capable. Now, all you have to do is plug in a little wireless um, battery thing here in the back of the tablet plug a little USB guy in into your computer and it will act wirelessly. Now, a little problem is, is that the battery doesn't last a super long time if you're really heavily using your tablet. It works for, it lasts for about three hours is what I've found with heavy retouching using it from stop to finish. Now, it does go into like a sort of sleep mode uh, when you're not using it, but it can just wake it up really quite simply. But the battery's not super great if you're using it for a long time, but it's a little added bonus because oftentimes uh, I will be sitting back on my chair and I don't need to be hunched over with a keyboard and all the rest of it. I can be laying back and just drawing away and that is a cool little feature. It's nice to have it wireless. As I said, the last few ranges uh, in the Intuos range uh, have been wirelessly capable. You do have to buy a little extra dongle but it's not a lot of money and it's definitely something I would recommend investing in. So the third reason here is actually this section on buttons. You can actually set all these buttons here to custom keyboard shortcuts. There's a whole bunch of other options you can do. Uh, the button section in the Intuos Pro software is really quite powerful. But the reason I use these for is for keyboard shortcuts in stuff like Photoshop and Lightroom. It's really valuable because I don't know about you, I use keyboard shortcuts all the time in Photoshop. And by having them all here at my fingertips really nice and easily, it speeds up my workflow no end. And there's also a little thing here called the touch ring. And this has, I think, four different options. And it's just, you can scroll through, you can change. I think I've got it set to like my volume, uh, my zoom. Uh, I can scroll through my layers and stuff like that. It's a really useful feature to have because say you are listening to music, oftentimes I am listening to music. And instead of having to you know, go back onto my keyboard or something to lower the volume, all I do is just use my touch ring and I can lower my volume there. It's a nice little extra feature and I do love using this on my tablet. So the fourth reason I have for you, and to kind of tack it back onto the third reason, these buttons here can actually be customized and have custom setups for specific programs. That is so cool to me because you can have a, a custom setup for Lightroom and say you open up an image from Lightroom into Photoshop and you have a entirely separate button setup because there's a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts that are specific to Photoshop. When you have Photoshop open, it knows that Photoshop is open and it will automatically switch over to your button setup for 
Photoshop. That is great and super, super useful for me because I've got custom setups for Lightroom, Photoshop, and a whole bunch of other programs. And if I'm jumping back and forth between everything, it will know what I am using and then it will customize and change the button layouts thereof. It's so, so easy and it's completely, you don't even notice it after a while. But when I'm looking back on it going, that's such a cool feature because there are custom things and certain things that I use within one program that I don't use in another. And by having that automatically change over inside the software is a great feature to me. So the fifth and final reason why I love using my Wacom here, it's specific to this guy here. This is the Intuos Small. He is definitely small enough to fit inside my bag uh, when I am traveling. And I have actually done that before on a couple of trips. I generally take this with me if I'm going on a trip that's more than two weeks, because uh, as I said before, I don't like retouching images without my tablet. That is a big no-no for me. I will, if I don't have it with me, I will actually wait to come back to the apartment here to retouch images. It is that important to my workflow. So the fact that it's small enough to take with me in, a, in my backpack and stuff like that is great. Um, and for those wondering kind of like what the scale is because you might not be able to get the sense for it in this video, I actually have a bit of A4 paper here. And as you can see, it's just a little bit longer in length than a standard A4 piece of paper and is pretty much the exact same width. So if you can fit paper in your backpack, you can definitely fit this tablet in your bag. And as I said, I bring this with me generally if I'm going on a longest trip because I refuse to retouch my images without it. Now, if you actually have an Intuos tablet, let me know in the comments below what your favorite features are because I love hearing people's setups for their tablets. As I said, these are highly customizable so if you've got a particular setup that you like, throw it in the comments below and I'd love to hear what you guys uh, have set up. And if you don't have one of these and you have any questions, put them in the comments below too and I'll be happy to answer, answer any of your questions. Hopefully you found this useful and it's inspired you to kind of look at these tablets because uh, there's a lot of different tablets out there but these are my personal favorite. I'm not sponsored by Wacom or anything like that. I just love using these tablets and I've used them for many years. So hopefully, as I said before, you found this useful. I've been Craig McCormick. I'll catch you in the next one.